What is going on everyone? Tutorial Tim here and today we're going to be going over adding auto layout to our card components and you'll see that we have a bunch of elements for our card components and we're going to focus on building those out first and then we'll build out a couple examples of the cards as well and then um, I'll leave the rest to you to challenge yourself to build build some uh, card components. So we'll go ahead and get started with some of the some of the more complex layouts that are presented here in terms in these elements. So we have here the stacks. We got this this stacking vertically, and then we have some layouts here where elements are stacking horizontally. Uh, and then we have this other layout here. Uh, we can go ahead and start with this one. I'm just double checking that all the spacings properly set here and just double checking that before adding auto layout to the parent layer so we'll add auto layout and as you notice the width was entirely removed uh, once we added auto layout so I'm gonna actually go ahead and create a frame from scratch set that to 344 and the height to 80 pixels high and then I'm going to go ahead and just copy all of these elements and then paste them in here and then add auto layout so I can reference all these. So now everything's stacked on top of each other by default. Um, and what we're going to want to do is go ahead and group the text and these icons and set the direction to horizontal direction here in the properties panel. And then I can go ahead and select my caption and move that over to the right. And then by selecting this, uh, parent frame here that wraps both these these hearts and the text. I'm going to go ahead and set, make sure this alignment and padding is set to the bottom left. And then I want some I want a space between of of eight pixels here. Let's just double check that. It's set to eight pixels, and then we should be good to go in that regard. And then we want to ensure that there's some padding between these elements. This it looks like actually these hearts should be centered. That content should be centered, and then we're gonna want a space between of eight pixels. So we drop that down, and then we're gonna go ahead and ensure that this is all dynamic. So if we go ahead and keep typing, that that will expand. So that's great. Um. And that's all we really need for this uh, reusable element here. It, it has auto layout. Um, you can swap between whatever is needed. And this will automatically adjust the width. Uh, so that's great. We can go ahead and copy this naming convention of this layer here. And then apply that to this element and make this a master, a main component. Excuse me. And then... I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing where I copy this frame, the width set to 344, and the, pix, uh, and the height set to 72. And I'm going to copy all these elements and then paste them here. And then I'm going to add auto layout. And you'll notice that everything is currently stacking. So what I'm going to want to do is uh, select my overline text and headline, hit Shift A. And, and then what I'm going to want to do is select the parent parent frame and set the direction to horizontal and then we're gonna want to specify space between these elements so uh, this we can also modify over time so the space between these elements is currently set to 175 pixels um, and we have the desired effect for our component we the only thing we need to add here is uh, vertical spacing here of four pixels and we are good to go and now we can you know, swap these elements around and whatnot so that's great and then just get that naming convention rename it and make it a main component and then we can go ahead and tackle one more and I'm gonna challenge you to do the rest so we're gonna grab the width and height of this element in a new frame so that width is once set to 168 and the height set to 88 pixels. I'm going to go ahead and copy all these elements and paste them into my new frame. And I'm going to hit Shift A. And what you'll notice is when I hit Shift A, it it distributed the space evenly across all three elements vertically. And in order to fix that, 
because the, you'll notice that the padding's closer here between these two elements and the one below, it's half the spacing, is we're gonna group this. So if we hit Shift A and change that from six pixels to four, it will tighten up the spacing between these elements. And then we can modify the spacing to, to eight pixels here. So that way it's set to eight and four here. And that is the desired spacing for these elements. And we have our auto layout applied accordingly. There's 16 pixel padding uh, to the left and right of the text bounding boxes here. So that's great. So this will expand if I expand horizontally, but I'm vertically, which isn't what we want. So we want to select this text box and make sure the resizing set to uh, resize the width automatically. So as I keep typing, it will also expand the parent container. And then uh, I'm just going to double check these other text properties to make sure they're resized. Uh, the width resizes automatically as well on those. And then I can go ahead and just copy that naming convention and paste that in here and make this the new main component and remove that old one out with the old in with the new. And I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and add auto layout to the rest of these. And I challenge you to do the same. So now we should have all of these elements properly uh, implemented with auto layout. So we can go ahead and proceed to just creating layouts now. And I'll show you how to do that. So we have a couple examples here. Uh, I'm gonna, we have this icon placeholder asset here. It's really just like a placeholder to plop in whatever content you need. We'll create this card variant here. And since we've already dynamically, I mean, added auto layout to these two uh, variants in this component, uh, we'll go ahead and duplicate them and then just create that card. It'll be really straightforward. So I'm just going to copy the headline and body text. It's the headline five. So I'm going to copy that. And then we have this body text. So all we have to do is double check the width of this card set to 344 pixels. And then so is the rest of our content. So we can actually just go ahead and stack this content next to each other. Whoopsie. So now it's all stacked and then all I have to do is wrap this in auto layout. And what I can do is select this parent frame and hit option command C and then option command V and I've added auto layout. And I've literally just recreated the same exact card component. But the difference is now when I start adding in content, it's gonna be dynamic. So watch, once I hit enter here, you see how this text isn't, isn't is just bleeding off its, off its you know parent container. Well, check this out. Now, this is dynamically adjusting the width, which is awesome. So now we don't have to manually resize the height of these, this card component. So I'm gonna delete that old one. We'll go ahead and create the second variation of, a, of this card. And I'm gonna copy the elements I need. So we got this headline with an avatar and body text and this little share icon. Then uh, we have this icon placeholder. So I can just go ahead and place that here as needed and uh, there we go. I'm gonna remove that spacing between those elements. And then we have some more some more body text. And I'm gonna go ahead and add, whoops, undo that, add that here as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit group all these by hitting Shift A. And then I'm gonna hit Option Command C on this element and Option Command V here to paste all those background properties and drop shadow. And we now have a, a duplicate of this card component. And you'll notice if I, if I type stuff here, whoops, if I keep typing stuff, it'll just bleed off the canvas, which isn't what we want. But with auto layout added to all our components, we have the desired effect of the expansion of this card. And we could even go ahead and create other layouts, but I'm gonna challenge you to create the following layouts here. Um, they're more challenging, but you can definitely do it. And that is all I have for creating card components today. Thank you so much for watching. And please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.